Hi guys, welcome back. It's Angel. For today's video, I will be showing you on how I did the garland balloon for Alan's first birthday. So, I will be showing you a tutorial on how I did that by myself. Yeah, it was a lot of hard work, but it's all worth it. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. See you in a little bit. Bye. Hi, birthday boy. Hi, birthday boy. Are you turning one years old? Huh? Alright, so. Baby, can you? Um. Hi everyone, for this video, I will be showing you what we got for the package that I ordered online on Amazon. There's the birthday boy. Hi, baby. Hi. It's your birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey, Coco. <laughs> Happy birthday, baby! <laughs> so he will be watching me. So for this package, we got two of this heart balloons. Oh, let me zoom it out. And we have the two star black balloons. We have the one with the confetti. This is what it looks like when you blow it up. And we have the polka dot red, polka dot black, and the regular yellow. Sorry, you couldn't see that. And that's what it looks like. As you can see, I blew them up already. And we also have the tools. I think this is to tie the string to the wall once you're all done. This is the... What do you call this? Um, the string or the thing that holds together <laughs> i don't know what it's called but that's what it looks like and it does have a hole so you can put through the the balloon through the holes and we have this i guess this is to help you um tie the balloon if your hand hurts this is the tape so you can um tape balloons to each other it has like little polka dots. I don't know if you can see that. Right there, that circle. And we also have the tiny balloons. Yellow, white, and black, and red. And the medium balloon. And those are the small ones. That's what it would look like. So, and we also have this. The... <laughs> balloon inflator and I also bought extra balloons just in case some of them pops so yep that's all for this video say bye bye for now baby say bye bye for now Helen hi <laughs> say, bye -bye. say bye bye for now bye 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 Shy, shy, shy. All right, I'll be right back and I will be showing you how I'm gonna do all of these. So the first thing I did here was to blow up the bigger balloons so I can see how much balloon I would need at the end if I really need to blow up all the tiny ones like the small size as you can see I blowed up the bigger balloons and I do have some small ones but not all of them are blown up because I was thinking that I won't be needing them and there's our birthday boy So for our next step, we are going to attach the balloon in our garland string. All 
Alright, so once you put the balloon through the bigger hole, make sure you slide it over to the smaller hole so once they're all together, your balloon doesn't fall out. Alright, so for this part, make sure you want to even out the polka dots that you have because if you all put polka dots in the beginning, you won't have like the amount of polka dots at the end so make sure you're also mixing it up so right here i changed my position because i realized that sitting down is actually way easier hooking up the balloons together also here i decided to attach the medium sized balloon because i realized that I was putting the bigger balloons and I was running out of the bigger balloons at the end. And once again, I didn't blow up the other size balloons so if you need more, you can always add more. So for this video, I didn't show you guys how I put the garland balloon on the wall, but basically all I did was put some nails up and tie a string and make the string go wrapped around the balloons so it stayed on there pretty well. And over here, as you can see, I'm just adding the small size balloons just to make it look evenly pretty i was just adding color white basically because i thought i had enough black yellow and red so here's the finishing touch of what it looks like So once again, here's a finishing look of our Mickey Mouse Garland Balloon. And here's our piñata that we will hang up later. Hi everyone, for this video I will be showing you our giveaway bags. So when I bought them at the store, they do come in eight piece, but you do have to stick the nose, the eyes, and the ears. Supposed to be, the back has their own sticky on them, but they don't really work as much. I tried them so many times and they just keep falling off. So if I were you, I recommend a tape or a double-sided tape. This is what I'm using right now because that's all I have right now. But um, you can tell the difference. This is what it looks like with the nose and the ears and the nose, ears, and eyes. This is what it looks like if there's no nose, ears, or eyes. See? You see the difference? Yep, 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 yep. So, also, the bags are pretty empty right now, but I will be showing you what I will be putting in them. So, over here, we have the bubbles. We have the balls. I really like these ones. They're really cute. And we also have the Malachi. So, for these three, you, you, we don't really have eight, so I'm just going to mix them. Because I also have this package, which I like because this comes in eight pieces. Um, as you can see, it has eight two-tones whistle, uh, eight woolly balls, eight mini hand clappers, eight play pads, and eight laser tops, and eight maze puzzle. This one is actually really nice because if you go to the store and have a hard time don't know what to put in those bags if i were you just find one of these it's so much easier so yeah as you can see they're all there and that's what it looks like for now i will be doing those later Alright, 
right so we're finishing the back of the giveaway bags I'm just attaching the nose, eyes, and ears with the tape and I do recommend you use a double sided tape or regular tape because the stickies that are on the back of these are not really good as an actual tape. Okay, so for this part, I am blowing up the letters so I could stick them on the wall. Alright, so for this part, I am just putting the letters under the Mickey Mouse Garland balloon and I was going back and forth just to make sure that it's even out and so that it looks great once it's all sticked on the wall. So I was actually wanting to put his full first name which was Alan Ace but then I realized that these letters are too big so I just decided to put Alan only. So it did take me a while and also I was planning to put the number one in the middle but I thought it would look weird so I just didn't put it on there and I fixed the name again so yeah here's what it looks like all together. Alright, so for this video, I will be showing you on how I did the Mickey Mouse pretzels. Over here, I have a melted chocolate. And this is what the bag looks like. I got this at Walmart. And I also got a color red one. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so for here, we're only doing halfway, halfway brown and the other half red. So right now, I'm going to do the bottom first because I'm only using um, one bowl at this moment because I really like this bowl because it heats up the chocolate good. Also another tip is that when you put them on the tray, make sure you um, space them out. Don't put them close together because when you freeze them and they stick together and you're not done because we still gotta put the red one, it would not look good if um, they're all stick together. Also um, this part, I just showed you how I did the pretzel but right here I'm doing an Oreo and I'm only doing four piece of Oreo because 
I don't think that there's gonna be a lot of people wanna eat the whole thing because it is a big size. I forgot to get um, a smaller ears. And right now, I'm just filling up the bottom again. And then later, I will be filling up the top color red. Also goes with the pretzels. So as you can see, the bowl is kind of empty because this is just basically the leftover chocolate from the pretzels. So yes, do the pretzel first and then do this after so you're not wasting too much chocolate. So we're done filling it in and as you can see they're not really perfect circles because some of them went over and but it's okay because it's still gonna look like a Mickey Mouse. Alright so for this part I did put them in the freezer for like 15 to 20 minutes and they are good to go. And so, as you can see, I started to do the color red. And I just colored in the ones that aren't colored to make it look like a Mickey Mouse. Alright, so when you're taking out the pretzels, they are frozen so be careful taking them off of the foil because they do come out and yeah so over here i'm using like a plastic spoon just to push down the foil when i'm trying to get the pretzels out because i didn't want to take out the chocolate and mess it up Alright, so once you do leave out the tray, it does um, start to melt the chocolate part. As you can see, our videos um, fast forward. So right now I'm doing half of this one and I'm gonna do the other half of the tray because I did two trays. Alright, so I did finish the pretzels. And once I finished the pretzels, I went to the Oreo and yes, I did the same thing. Whatever is left of the color red, I just put them on top of the Oreo. And that's what it looks like and they looked really cute. So I didn't really have enough time to video everything and... I'm just showing you a quick video of everything that we had on the table. The Oreo and the pretzels, hot dog, puto, the cake. I ordered that from Hy-Vee but I ordered it plain and I was the one who actually put the, the signs on them. The spaghetti, the adobo. Uh, seafood that my brother-in-law made we have kare kare we have fish we have um, so that's my brother-in-law he's just taking out some seafood we have my sister and my family that's my grandma and there's our birthday boy with the cousin that's also one of his grandma and cousin again so this is the finishing touch and here at the cake you can see I um, put all that decorations on there I actually ordered it plain so it turned out good and this is my setup for my son's first birthday we also put the gifts under the table we didn't really have enough space to put it so yeah hopefully you guys love this 
video and liked it please don't forget to share it and subscribe to our channel here are some cute pictures of our birthday boy in his Mickey Mouse outfit and hopefully he will someday find this video and see what we did for his first birthday once again, I just want to say happy, happy birthday to you, my baby. Mommy and daddy loves you very, very much. And please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.